with a grind and a clank, our old van slows to a stop. Mom can't start it. Monster waves from the roadside. Hi, Lulu. Long time no see. When we get a ride home, Monster buckles in next to me. All Mom's money goes to fix the van. She needs it to drive to work. That means there's no money left for groceries. Mom says she doesn't think we can get help because she has a job. So we make do and make do. Ava runs up to me at school, her half of our twin necklaces dancing. She can't see Monster smirking and I can't tell her. Monster made me promise never to say its name to anyone. Hunger Monster. Can you say Hunger Monster? Hunger Monster. Tell me one of your jokes, Ava says. All I can think about is food, food, food. Why do the French eat snails, I ask. Because they don't like fast food. Because snails are slow, aren't they? <laughs> Ava laughs and we join our friends to play tag before the bell. Soon, I have to sit. My head is spinning. My stomach is noisy. Hunger Monster is growling. In math, Monster bounces on my table so the numbers squiggle and jiggle. Mr. Abadi turns around. Lulu, please sit still. I want to tell him it's Hunger Monster's fault. Monster glares at me, so my mouth stays closed. During morning recess, Ava wants to play. My stomach is empty and achy, and I yell at her. She doesn't know why I'm being so grumpy. I go hide in the school garden. This year, Mr. Abadi is teaching us how to plant vegetables. Maybe there's something to eat in here. But the tomatoes are still green and hard. I kick at them. Temper, temper. Hungry Monster says, you know what you are? Hangry. Hungry and angry. I invented that, Hungry Monster beams. The bell rings and I leave Monster gloating in the weeds. I always get free school lunch, so Monster will hide this afternoon, sulking in the hallway, waiting for another chance. Hunger Monster bugs me the most before lunch, in the morning, mornings like this one. I can't stop thinking about the cubbies out in the hallway, stuffed full of everyone snacks. Can I go to the restroom, please? In the hall, I reach for someone's lunchbox. Ants on a log, my favorite. I stare for a long time. Then I turn away. Hunger Monster won't make me a thief. She's decided she's not going to take somebody else's lunch and eat it. Monster waddles off in a huff, and I make do. He didn't like it at all, did he? Next morning, Ava passes me a bag. I've got too much snack. 
inside are grapes, yogurt, and cauliflower. I don't want to take it. My face feels hot. I only take the bag because Ava is my friend. Monster shrinks that day. And the next, when Veronica has too much fruit salad. And the next, when Manuel wants help with a spare tamale. By Friday, hunger monsters no bigger than a toy. Everyone's whispering and laughing about you, it squeaks. After that, I don't take any more snacks, not even from Ava. A few days later, Mom gives me a bag for snack time. Surprise! There's a sun butter sandwich and string cheese. I peek inside her lunch bag, plain crackers and packets of ketchup. Looks like I should spend today with your mom, Monster says. No, I won't let you. I slip my string cheese into mom's bag. That's cheating, Monster says. No matter, it will be gone soon and I'll be back. My shoulders slump. I can't keep standing up to this monster all by myself. At recess, I decide to talk to Mr. Abadi. Even though my stomach is full of snacks today, it still aches as I go to find him. I've never said Hunger Monster's name out loud. Even so, I have to do something for mom and for me. Mr. Abadi is tying up the tomato plants and taking out the broken stakes, the ones I broke. As I unlatch the gate to the garden, Monster looms over me. He'll think your mom is a bad person. I almost walk away, but I can't let Hunger Monster trick me again. Ava comes up behind me and takes my hand. Lulu, today I have a joke for you. Why shouldn't you tell jokes to eggs? Anybody know? They might crack up. <laughs> I want to smile, but I can't. I have to go talk to Mr. Abadi. Ava nods, let me come with you. Together we pull weeds as I talk to Mr. Abadi about the car trouble, about how mom's getting paid soon, but not soon enough. Mr. Abadi says he's glad I talked to him. I know about a place that can help. Now my tummy feels fine. Mom and I visit a food pantry. A truck from the food bank drops off healthy food. Everything's free and we pick what we need. Everyone helps each other, except Monster. Mom and I head home in our van, leaving Hunger Monster far behind for today. Tonight, we're cooking a yummy meal together. I'm excited to help. And next week, I'm going to help at the food pantry because Hunger Monster is strong. But so are we.